Okay, we're here with another photo stamping scene, or photo for a photo stamping scene. This one's a little bit more, <laughs> it's, it's a little bit harder to, to work around than some of the more kind of generic, somewhat neutral light in here. I mean, there's, there's a range of uh, tones in here from dark to light, okay, like on some of these, but this one's really quite definitive. It looks like something where a photograph's been taken from a, an airplane or something like that. I love
still looks like a little bit of water, but that's okay. So I have water on my road. Okay. Alright. So a lot of fun stuff. And I'm finding out new things all the time. I'm starting to run out of photographs, so I'll have to move on. Or I'll print out some of my own ones. And uh, maybe play around with them, maybe grade them where it's not color, it's black and white, and we can do uh, other things with that type of uh, format. Okay, so anyways, I hope you enjoyed the scene. Photo stamping can be very, very fun, and uh, kind of having to work with a certain parameter, meaning kind of existing forms in the background, stamping it over with open designs again. You know, it's very easy to use just, you know, solid trees or something like this in a photo stamping. Then you don't have to kind of work around, you know, kind of, you know, the dark light um, kind of considerations within the photograph. But, you know, after you do a couple of these, you start to see kind of a little bit more of the possibilities um, in conjunction with um, whatever stamps you want to use with it. So it's really fun. And it's fun seeing what will come out. Um, you know, from something that you didn't have control over from start to finish, you know, as in working on a white piece of paper to the final result. And I'm finding that's really fun, and uh, I don't know, I don't think any creativity is lost. In fact, it might kind of, uh, kind of spur, you know, your creative energy to uh, kind of come up with um, different solutions that you normally wouldn't have had you not been working within that given parameter. So thanks again for watching. Thanks for tuning into the channel. If you like this video, hope you like, share, and subscribe.